Hey guys, welcome to today's day trading recap for August 26th, Thursday. Hope everybody had a good day of trading. Uh, nice day of trading today, plus 1,405.50 on the day. Uh, NVIDIA had a mighty 90 for plus 147, did a pairs trade in NASDAQ versus Dow, ended up scratching out a little profit, uh, a little over 35 bucks on that one. And then the meat of the profits came on the runners. Microsoft plus 75, Boeing plus 250, Piton minus 150, Roku, my biggest winner, uh, 980, AMD minus 291, NASDAQ future 245, Russell plus 114. So let's go over these. I'll show you what we did. Let's start with uh, our mighty 90 in NVIDIA. So NVIDIA came, uh, came flushing down out of the open here. So we got long right in this area here, right here and caught this bounce. I got up when it, when it moved to unchanged, I went ahead and just closed out the rest of my position there. So booked a small position, uh, plus 147 on that. Uh, onto the runners, Microsoft. Oops. Microsoft. So we did, uh, did an upside runner in Microsoft, um, and it, uh, it, it was just kind of consolidating here. So I, I got in, I got out of half on this little bounce, half my position for nice profit. And then when it ripped back down, I just cut out quick. So I ended up booking a total profit of just 75 bucks on that one, but it was a good exit because this thing just continued to fall once the market got really weak. Boeing plus 250. So Boeing, uh, let's see, what did we do in Boeing? Oh yeah, so Boeing was pushing up when it pulled back here, got long and just caught this move higher. I want to start to kind of chop around, cut out of my last piece, booked a $250 profit on that one. Uh, Piton minus 150. So this is one of the losers. By the way, uh, I'm recording this after 5 p.m. You can see Piton announced earnings after the bell and it's down 8%. So a little miss on the earnings in Piton. But uh, before that, let's get that off the screen so we can, there we it. It, there we go. All right, so Piton uh, minus 150. So in Piton, it had this initial strength, and so when it pulled back here, I was looking for a continuation higher. Uh, didn't give it to us, so when it fell down, broke below that pivot, I just I just cut out and took a small loss. Uh, traded really well today. Roku was my big winner. This is this was a fun one. Um, just got in and out of Roku a bunch of times with really small size, but it paid off really well. So. Uh, Roku had this initial strength, started pushing up, came with some big volume right here quickly. So I actually got in right here, caught this, uh, caught this move, got out, didn't catch the whole move up, got out right here. Then it kept on pushing when it pulled back here, got back in, caught that bounce, got back in when it pulled back, caught that bounce. And then that was it. I did not get back in. And that's when the market started getting really weak and started flushing. So just Really good trades there in Roku. Uh, AMD, AMD was my other loser. And let's see, AMD, oh yeah, so AMD pushed up to this, uh, broke through the highs of day and then pulled back. So I got long looking for more upside. And when it fell down, I just cut out pretty quick, took a loss there, which is a good exit. Cause as you can see, it continued to fall. And then my last two were on the futures. So one was on the NASDAQ, just trading the micros here, just super small. Uh, but the NASDAQ, so NASDAQ had this, uh, when the, the news came out about the bombing in Afghanistan, uh, this thing just started flushing. And so when it bounced up, I got short, uh, bounced a little bit more. I added some shorts right here and then just kind of scaled out as this thing went down. I had a couple contracts left and it pushed up on me. So when it kind of pulled back here, I ended up getting out right here. Had I held them, that would have been nice. But uh, I had gotten out of three quarters of my position down here. So uh, that, that little piece I had left didn't hurt me too bad, but uh, gave a little bit back. And then in the Russell, uh, I got short as well. And this one was a little bit later. So after the market flushed uh, here, when it bounced up, no, let's see. Hang on, let me get my time right here. Oh yeah, so this is this was the flush. So when it bounced back up to this area here, I got short looking for this market to continue lower. It it pushed up a little bit and chopped around. I was in this 
kind of late in the day, and finally this thing rolled over, and I I got out of my last piece down here. So uh, just uh, just a few con four contracts in uh, M2K, so 114. So nice profit today. It's good to have another four figure day finally. It's been a little while. Uh, plus 1,405.50. So we will be streaming live tomorrow. See you in the room. Talk to you then.